what's up everyone welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button this is a bit of my daily life i always wanted to get a toolbox because i've got one toolbox there a little toolbox there and several more tools over there and some more tools under that shelf um always wanted to get a toolbox so that i can fit everything in one place and so that i don't have to run around my garage looking for tools bought a little stanley toolbox this apparently has 133 pieces in it and there's supposed to be a few more empty drawers too haven't opened it yet so let's get up get into opening that and tidying my workspace So this apparently has the other toolbox on the bottom side of it which means I have to remove these bolts here and on the back there's two bolts on the back and the bottom should pop out apparently. Let's see. And that's my bottom top chest drawer, not a bottom chest drawer. Let's see. Oh. That's your top chest drawer. I'm gonna just open it up from this side so that I will damage in the box. I think there's balls on the bottom. Yes, there's three balls on the bottom. I need this base as to the roller casters on to this bottom drawer so I'm gonna keep this aside for the moment. Okay, let's turn this up flat down so that I can put the casters onto this. Okay, there's the lock bar, zip tied, the zip tie and there's your keys. Let's get the lock bar out as well. Handy. Right, there you go. So the lock bar goes in like this, into here. Right, uh, there's a bolt in here that should be the tools. So this is how your lock bar works, once everything's closed in, this slides in through, it locks these top three drawers and it doesn't let you out, and those three along with the top ones locked. The only flaw is you need to wiggle it a bit to get it in there, it's not the best design. Yep, 
Yep, that took me a while. All right, time to move this out of the way and clean up here and then put all my tools into the box. All right, went on a sort of a cleaning spree and finally sorted everything out now. Let's see. Magnetized uh, work lamps, works great on that. Finally, I got some place to put there. All the screwdrivers, scissors, screwdriver bits and screwdriver adapters, picks and uh, knives. Hex keys, um, long hex keys underneath there, torque set in there. Special sockets that goes on um, transfers and differential. And I didn't have any way to put this on, but that's a small set of um, quarter drive uh, bits and stuff. Torx bits, screwdriver bits, and so on. Special tools, magnetic uh, pickups, and Feeler gauges and that's a vernier gauge underneath. Imperial and metric uh, spanners. My socket sets and imperial and metric again. Power bars, adapters and if you are someone who's working on MX5s, this is the socket that goes on the trans uh, filler plug. That's a 14 mil 8 point socket. Yeah, 8.7. And this is the socket set that came with the box. I still haven't touched it because I've got most of the tools, but the deep sockets that's very going to be appreciative for me. And my pliers and cutters and everything, adjustable spanners, lock pliers, um, C clamps, brake uh, caliper, piston pushbacks, and such, and electrical stuff. And on the bottom, that's a um, torque, uh, torque wrench. That's a torque wrench. This is a half drive torque wrench. That's oh, sorry, that's 38 drive torque wrench up to 25 newton meters. Torque wrench, half drive, uh, air tools, drills, and drill bits, and drill drivers, hammers, and stuff. And there you go. Oh, yeah. Ah lowers and oil wrenches there you go that's how i arrange my stuff this gets locked in there finally i've got everything in one place thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't see you in the next video